that you are with me every step of the way You're strong enough, you're strong enough to handle any fear that I face Even things that scare me cause they seem too big Even all the hard things that make me wanna quit You're bigger than it all and you're in charge of it I don't feel so worried when I look to you, Jesus Okay, it's the last thing that I ever do. Stay, stay, stay. Quiet as a tree. I am getting angry! Hey bud, you okay? Oh yeah. Oh, I find if I uh, paint myself green when I'm getting angry, it really calms me down, you know? Oh. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Steven. I'm John. And welcome to the So-and-So Show. Hey John, do you, you maybe want to come have a seat, buddy? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just, just, what? My arch nemesis from third grade is supposed to come by the show today. Your arch nemesis? Yes, Sally Kalapaski. She was my arch rival in mathletes. Ugh. Okay, but that was like a long time ago, right? Was it? All right, mathletes. Leonard bought 10 bags of popcorn at 35 cents each. How much will he have to sell them for to make 
a dollar profit. Okay, one dollar profit. Well, uh, I'm assuming that they aren't including the upfront capital to acquire the equipment, costs of the energy and the downstream. Are, are they using oil to cook or are they air popping the popcorn? Because that, I think- 45 cents! Correct! Yes! Hey, Jar, why don't you eat some popcorn, pull up a chair, and see how it's done? <laughs> okay. Next question. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What is 243 divided by three squared? Uh, okay, three squared is nine, so that uh, would be two. 27! <laughs> Correct! Wow! Okay, I thought it before she said it! Miss Franklin, I thought it before she said it! Uh, John, I think you have to say it out loud with your words. Mm. Last question of this round. In Brandon's kingdom, castles have 10 beds and houses have three beds. There are two castles and 47 beds. How many houses are there? Okay, castles have 10 beds, so if- Nine! What, how did you get that? No, is she, is she right? No! <laughs> hey, buddy. Um, quick question. Why were you the same size in third grade as you are right now? Memory is flawed, Stephen. Okay, but she seemed to be having a good time, okay? It seemed like some friendly, lighthearted trash talk. Oh, she was brutal. <laughs> so she's coming by. Yes, she sent me a message on Instachat. She said she's a big fan of the show and just wanted to come by and say hello. Of course, why not? What do you mean, why not? Didn't you just see my memory, Steven? Sure, but you said yourself, your memory is flawed. Well, what if she just wants to come back and tell me how incredibly good she was at math or how incredibly bad I am at math or that I'm a failure? You're a failure, John. <laughs> but you're not terrible at math. Oh, do you know that, Steven? I do. What's two plus two, John? What's two plus two, John? Huh? Huh? What is it? <laughs> See? Memory is flawed, John. Yeah, you're right, you're right. You know what I think you need? Mm, a nap? No. Bible story time with Kellen. What's up, Kellen? Not too much, my friends. What about you guys? Well, John is having some serious fear from a thing that happened a really long time ago. I mean, was it really that long ago? It was. Point is, he's not believing that he can do something. Hmm. Well, maybe I can help. You want to tell a Bible story, don't you, Kellen? I mean, that's why I'm here. Can I get your assistance? Absolutely. Perfect. It's time for another Human Head Puppet Theater! Our story today comes from the book of Daniel and tells the story of a person named, drum roll please, Daniel! The book of Daniel tells the story of Daniel. Funny, right? Okay, 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 okay. So King Darius had 120 rulers over his kingdom, and he had three special rulers who were in charge of those 120. And one of those three rulers was Daniel. Daniel, you are good, both moral and intelligent, a rare combination. Well, thank you, King. In fact, I'm going to put you in charge of all my other rulers. Oh, uh, as you wish. <laughs> Yay. Now, the other two rulers didn't like that idea too much. Ugh. Can you believe King Darius? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I know. We gotta find a way to get rid of Daniel. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> Is there something wrong with the way he runs the government? Nope. <laughs> but he's gotta be corrupt. He's gotta be cheating or something. Nope. He's always trustworthy. Ah, okay. Maybe if we're gonna get him, we're gonna have to figure out something in connection to his god. Yeah, now you're talking. Hey, 
You know, dummy. <laughs> They knew that Daniel's belief in God was very important to him and that he wouldn't do anything that would put another person above God. So they came up with a plan. King Darius, may you live forever. Yes, you may rise. <laughs> we had an idea. Yeah. We think you should give an order to everyone to obey for the next 30 days. We believe that no one should pray to any other god or human except for you. Yeah! I like it. <laughs> and if anyone disobeys, uh, they have to be thrown into the lion's den. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Fun! Write it down! Write it down! Oh, I will. <laughs> right. Thrown into the lion's den. <laughs> Very good, my lord. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel found out about the order, but that didn't stop him from praying. He opened his windows and he prayed to God. The other rulers saw him and went back to Darius. King Darius! King Darius! Yes? Oh, <laughs> you won't believe it. But someone has broken your order. For shame! What? <laughs> How dare someone do that? Who? It is Daniel. Daniel! Daniel? <laughs> but Daniel is the very best that I have, my most trusted official. Oh, yes, it's quite unfortunate, sir. Quite unfortunate, sir! Surely <laughs> not, Daniel. We can make an exception. Oh, I'm sorry, but an order can't be changed. Order can't be changed! <laughs> but, but what if... Sorry! Sorry! Huh. You're right. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. No, you're not. Shh, that's between us. King Darius had been tricked. But the law said that Daniel had to be thrown into the lion's den. Daniel, you always serve your God faithfully. May he save you. Hmm? Hmm? Whoa! No, it's over now! Oh, no! Wow. Pretty deep. Ah! 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 Oh. Roar. <laughs> Thank you, God. Oh, oh, it's okay, kitty. Oh. God protected Daniel. King Darius, though, couldn't eat or sleep the entire night because he was so worried about Daniel. When the sun came up, King Darius went to see if Daniel had survived the night. Daniel, has your God been able to save you from the lions? Oh, your majesty, may you live forever. My God sent his angel and that angel shut the mouths of the lions. They, they haven't hurt me at all. Good kitty, good kitty, good kitty, good kitty. <laughs> zippity doo da! Get him out! Get him out! <laughs> oh, thank you! Mm, okay! Woohoo! Yeah. He's flying! Bye, Kay! Meow! God had rescued Daniel. The end. Wow, thanks, guys! That was fun! Yeah, yeah, what a story! Right? Daniel showed some incredible bravery. I'll say, but uh, how? Well, I think Daniel knew God was with him. And the same thing is true for us. We can do things that may seem hard because we know God is with us too. That's great. Thanks, Kellen. No doubt. I'll see you guys next time. Later. See ya. You know, maybe I shouldn't be so nervous about seeing Sally. Yeah. <laughs> Reveal the question. <laughs> oh, thanks. Sally, well, our question of the day is, what is the bravest thing that you've ever done? Yeah, yeah, maybe you've stood up for someone at your school that your friends were picking on. Or maybe you've told the truth, even when it was hard. Maybe you saved a kitty from a burning building. Wait, have you done that? No, but I would. I have no doubt. Well, well, that's all the time we have for the so-and-so show. We'll see you next time. You know what, Sally, it's really good to see you. I, I can't believe I was so nervous.
Yeah, you called her your arch nemesis, mm -hmm. remember? I've always thought you were my arch nemesis. What? Really? <laughs> yeah, that means a lot to me. Math always competition for old time's sake? Oh, yeah, you're on. Oh. <laughs> what is that? What does that mean? There's math. Oh, okay. Why didn't she just say three? Because yeah. she's really good.